Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new way which you guys can actually reduce input lag within Fortnite and actually increase FPS and also stop FPS drops and stutters within Fortnite Chapter 2. This method was basically discovered December 17th by a YouTuber known as Blink. I will be elaborating a little bit more on the method. But yeah, I just have to sort of give him credit because he was the first to make a video and cover this. But I'm just kind of like broadening it and just bringing it out to you guys. His video got 53,000 views and I know now everyone who watched my channel would have saw that video but whatever just shout out to blank keep a link down below you can go and check out his channel after this but yeah i'm sure you guys will enjoy this video right here if you do enjoy the video you guys know what to do drop a like it helps out way more than you guys think and pushes the video out to further people it's just widely appreciated and it just means the world to me when you guys drop likes and support the video you can also subscribe with post notifications on so you guys never miss an upload just like this on my channel i do help you guys out quite widely with things just like this and i will be trying to extend my content over the next few weeks i will be hoping to do daily uploads and grinding out content for you guys so it's the least you guys can actually do to support myself in doing that but yeah guys without further ado let's just get straight into the video Also guys, quickly before this video starts, I just want to point this out. I have a friend of mine called Reverse. He actually did just make a new Discord server called Reverse's Nation. As you guys can see on screen right now, I'm over on the Discord server. This is just kind of a friend to friend thing. He did not pay me to promote this or advertise this. I'm just kind of being nice and advertising it for him. I will leave a quick link in the description for you guys to go and join the server. It only has 16 members as of now. I know a lot of you guys are already in my Discord server, which has over 10,000 members, like which I do just greatly appreciate. It's amazing to have that many people in a Discord community. But yeah, my friend does have a Discord server. If you guys do want to go and join it, the link will be down below in the description. There's things like a general chat, self-promotion where you guys can promote yourself. If a lot of you guys come from my video, you can all promote yourself right here and all just support each other. It'd be a nice thing for you guys to do. That's about all I wanted to talk about for that Discord server. And also guys, for this method on how you can actually reduce input lag and help your game, you'd have to load up Fortnite. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So yeah, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly launch Fortnite and I'll show you guys exactly how to do this method. But yeah, let's just, let's just stop talking and I'll launch my game. And I'll get back to you guys when my game is launched two hours later okay guys as you can see right now we are over on fortnite and although it is not anything to do with this video you can see i have one present up in here so i'm just gonna open it on the video for you guys okay i'm in the little lounge thing and i'm just gonna open the present see what i get why not okay we're just gonna open this hopefully it's some money bro wow it's so cool that's pretty cool and it's from the nogops yo the nogops just hooked me up but yeah let's leave the lodge we'll just show you guys this little uh this little method right here so guys the method is actually more simple than you guys actually think what you guys want to do is go over to your settings like so this is all to do with the display section right here and the resolution tab as you can see i have multiple resolutions to choose from i use predominantly 1904 by 1071 i've used a free stretch resolutions i have so many resolutions shameless plug but if you do want to know how to get all these resolutions on your game and not have to actually close your game to then switch resolution and change between stretch resolutions i did make a whole video on that i'll put the link down below you guys can find it on my channel. It's my most recent video, which hit over 100,000 views, which I am, again, very appreciative for. It does mean a lot of the support you guys give me, but that is just a little plug, just so I don't get any comments on this video of you guys wondering how I did this right here. But yeah, this is all to do with resolutions, and this resolution, it's gonna take a while to get to it, but this resolution right here, 1600 by 900, is a resolution you guys want to be using within Fortnite to benefit your FPS, to stop stuttering, just increase frames, and actually reduce input lag within in your game i don't know what you guys are thinking 1600 by 900 you've probably used it before you've probably tried it out i made a video a very long time ago months ago amongst a many other youtubers who also made a video talking about 1600 by 900 how it can help your fps it does look very bad it does literally decrease quality that's what this resolution does it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio it's basically just native 1920 by 1080 just with a lower quality because you're getting less pixels in your game so it's basically just a lower quality 1920 by 1080 it's a lower quality native resolution you guys know that and it does look very bad that's the reason a lot of people are drifted away from it they don't like it it's sort of the same as when you use a stretch resolution the pixels are a lot smaller so players from a longer distance you can't really see them it's just pretty pixelated and blurry and the quality is not as good that's basically what this gives you and just gives you that in a native manner instead of stretching your resolution horizontally that's what drifts people away from this resolution right here but what makes this resolution particularly extremely good is that it does reduce input lag it really helps fps like they don't know what it was but recently in some of Fortnite's updates this is just a lot better for input lag and it will decrease it it never used to have that effect and never used to decrease it as it does now now it does and what's also great about it and hopefully you guys are stuck on this video just for this right here you don't have to play this resolution in bad quality you can sort of manipulate the game trick the game change your graphic settings so you can use 1600 by 900 and also make that look just like 1920 by 1080 you can make this resolution right here look like native you can make it look better than it already does what you're doing is you're actually changing 
the quality your graphics quality to make this resolution right here actually look good so it doesn't look bad you can use the benefits such as the, the increased fps the lower input lag and still make your game look good so you guys don't have to use this on its own you don't have to just put it on and just struggle with that bad quality you guys can use this and make it look actually good which is what i'm going to be showing you in this video that is a main reason i'm making this video right here that's exactly what blink also shown in his video so yeah what you guys want to do to do it you just want to go into fortnite that you take go over to here make sure you're on full screen press apply my screen did just black out right there but you want to press apply and then it's going to change your resolution to 1600 by 900 and if you do go into the game you do look quality does look a little bit more pixelated i'm not sure if you guys can tell that on the screen but what i'm going to be doing now is heading on back onto my desktop closing my fortnite and showing you guys i can make this resolution right here actually look playable okay guys so i'm back over recording on my obs and i am on my desktop as you guys can see i am hiding my desktop icons if you do see right here if i can get to it yeah i kind of have a lot of icons that's the reason i'm hiding them so my desktop does look a little cleaner so i will just go ahead and hide them again for you guys so i can just show you this if you guys are wondering where my icons are gone i am literally not this i'm not even organized at all this is just i just hit them for you guys so it looks a lot more presentable but i'm over my desktop as you guys can see and what you guys need to do is go into your graphic settings it's kind of simple right click right click literally anywhere on your desktop and you will find a control panel within here mine is the nvidia control panel about 80 percent of you guys watching this video will have the nvidia control panel just like me if you are amd it will say amd control panel or amd radeon settings it will say something along them lines if you have intel it's just the same it's vice versa for whatever graphics card you have whatever model your graphics card is mine is an nvidia graphics card so i have this right here so what i'm going to do is click that and open up the graphics card settings and this is just all my graphical settings i don't know why it's taking so long to load up obviously there we go it's loaded up and this is a control panel right here this is what you guys will need to be on to um, change some of these settings and manipulate 1600 by 900 to make that actually look good and manipulate it to look just like 1920 by 1080 what you guys want to do is that you go to the top where it says 3d settings and adjust image settings with preview just um a quick thing Th this isn't even a part of this video i just want to include this you guys need to actually make sure you are playing on performance you guys may have this on quality this isn't good to have max on quality basically you guys want to click this where it says use my preference emphasizing click that drag all the way down to performance and press apply what you guys want to do it isn't good having this on quality because then that just that makes your graphics card work only for quality and not performance which will basically give you low fps so you want to have this all the way down in performance and press apply kind of simple that's a great thing you guys can actually do just a quick bonus tip what you guys want to do for this actual method you want to go to where it says manage 3d settings and then while you're over here you want to change something where it says image sharpening you want to turn this on like so what you guys want to do is change this right here to 0.75 i'm just going to do that right there 0 0.75 you want to change this here to 0 0.25 press ok what this is going to do is just sharpen your game a little bit more and it will get rid of them like rigid edges and like the pixelated edges on your character using 1600 by 900 this is what you guys want to do just for that another thing you guys can do is actually turn on gpu scaling you don't have to have this on but it's different for different systems some systems this will work a lot better and actually increase your frame other systems it won't for me this doesn't really help so i'm going to keep it off um or for the most part you won't want this on so i have mine turned off i'm going to press ok and then it's going to say this right here which is sharpen 0.75 ignore film grain 0.25 and that's how you know this is working now all that's left to do is to scroll down to where it says low latency mode select this and put it on ultra that's all you guys have to do kind of simple it says right here low latency mode kind of like self-explanatory and what this does this actually does lower your latency between both your graphics card and your game so it's just working out a little faster and increasing your input lag you're getting a better response time to your game so having this on ultra on at least new graphics cards anyway really does help and you will notice you will have a noticeable difference doing things such as editing on fortnite fast edits and building will feel a lot nicer maybe even your aim will improve the less latency you have towards your game more shots will then register like if you have bad ping within fortnite it's harder to build there's a lot of delay and when you do try and shoot people with bad ping a lot of shots won't register this is exactly what this is doing it just sort of helped with things like that not with ping it's just like that's just like kind of a way to describe it it's a similar feeling you guys do want to have this on ultra once you guys have done that it's literally that simple you guys want to press apply this will actually black out your screen for about three to five seconds that's perfectly normal now once you guys have done that it's kind of simple you literally just want to cross out of it like so and now that's all you had to do for this video now i'm actually going to open up my fortnite and show you guys how much better this actually looks it's just an additional thing i'm going to show you guys in this video so you do know it works and you do have trust in doing this so yeah, I'm going to go back into Fortnite launch and I'll get back to you guys when my Fortnite is loaded. Okay guys, so I am now over my Fortnite. You may be able to tell this does look a little bit different. At first, you guys may not like this. The game is going to look a lot more sharper and a lot more a lot more popping to the eyes is why, I, I don't know, that's how you could probably explain it. But if you guys do look very closely, there isn't as much like pixelated edges on your character anymore. It doesn't look as more pixelated. It is a lot clearer. It's a little bit more sharpened. So it feels like there's more contrast to it in some way. You guys can like obviously mess around with a few contrast settings over here. Like this, this um, user interface face contrast right here and make it look just like how you guys want it but now 
works well a look a lot cleaner compared to the normal 1600 by 900 and just to obviously prove it i'm still on this resolution and it does kind of look like native it will take you maybe a day or two to get used to and, and fully like it if you guys do load into a game right now and compare the two you won't see much of a difference and there will be a huge difference to input lag and it will be very much decreased your performance will be a lot higher you'll get a lot more fps you won't, won't notice it straight away but if you take away the settings i just applied in my graphics card and then using 1600 by 900 and then put them back on and use it you will see the difference in frames and how much nicer this actually feels this does feel noticeably similar to the 1904 by 1071 resolution which if you guys are low subscribed to me you would know that i use that so does tfu and that is a great resolution it feels very similar and, and does help out just as much as that does this does actually feel a little bit better so i may switch this resolution over 1904 by 1071 i'm not 100 percent sure again you guys can try this out drop a like and let me know how what you guys think about this if you guys did get to this point in the video the least you guys can do is drop a like helps out way more than you think pushes it up to further people i've said this already it takes two seconds you can literally do it right now as i speak helps out drop a comment down below let me know let me know what you guys think about this and also just tell me what your favorite resolution is i want to know what your guys' favorite resolution is and if you did get to the end of the video comment the word mango down below just like the fruit mango comment mango down below so i know who the loyal ones are and who actually watches to the end of each video and i'll just be able to like differentiate you guys and maybe start rewarding some people who are actually supporting me in this way subscribe if you haven't already you know you guys not to do to support me it's kind of simple i don't really need to say it every video but yeah this is about it and remember to go and check out blink down below i will link him he made this video before me but yeah it's been your boy farfetch and yeah peace